Hello you all, it's Agnes coming to you with the Dollar Tree butter dish that I've collected a couple days ago on one of the trips. Okay, so I am going to give it, uh, give that dish an upscale look. So um, really, there's nothing wrong with it. And obviously, there is so many ideas you can go ar around it or just keep it white. But I've decided to actually cover again with the white paint. Because what I do want it to do is, it's actually chalk paint. I do want it to... Um, add something to the top of it and usually things stick a little bit better with the coats of the uh, chalk paint so now i painted one coat um the top of my butter dish now i decided to bring my gold leaf and just go with the edges i'm not going to really try uh to touch the inside of it um even though whatever i'm doing is the food safe but um you know it's always easier when you have to wash to have the original um you know um inside okay so now my um my top of to the butter dish is uh, i would say the hood or dome is painted so now i'm going to just give a light um sending just to make sure that all the imperfections are gone and now it's time to have fun as I'm cleaning my um, craft area, I see that I do have a lot of trans, uh, trans, rubber transfers. So I decided to use the portion of it, um, some pieces. So I do want it to use actually the one, um, you know, a rose on a stem or whatever flower that is. I love me some bread and maybe a little bunch on the side and try to use that um, for my butter dish goal was to have a little bit of the flower showing obviously on the top and a little bit on the bottom so i think i made my decision i'm just going to cut it a little bit closer just to make sure but you know that i am actually happy with whatever my plan was and i think it's time to separate it and if you never try the transfer the rub on transfer rub on transfers it's easy you remove the backing and now you're going to use the popsicle stick to um you know press on it and sort of scrub it until the design stays on your um piece it's like magic happening so when you press um you know uh, long enough and i would say scrub on longer long enough uh, the, uh, that top layer of the uh, design is uh, slowly peeling off so see all what i gotta do it is just simply keep on rubbing until the whole thing is just coming off so that's it it's all done that one was finished so now it's time to add the uh the second piece that i do want to actually use as the portion of my flower on the side so it just shows there um that's it it's the same technique you just add it in the place you want to do it and then you just keep on scrubbing for sure easier to uh, do that uh, transfer method on the uh, flat surface straight surface versus doing it on the angle but you know what you just gotta go a little bit slower and everything is doable it takes a little while I do not want to scrub the paint on the side so that's why I'm going to easier but e even if you do scrub the paint obviously there's nothing else than just chalk paint so you can easy uh, touch up some areas okay all it's done you could have actually leave it the way it is but you know what if you follow me for some time I gotta squeeze some uh, uh, patterns so I'm just simply making my markings all around the uh, the butter dish the top of the butter dish and um, I'm going to actually try to create the checks this time around yes you could have actually paint your checks first and then add on the transfer in maybe that would have been another thing that i would add but as of right now i've always add the transfer and then i painted whatever i wanted to paint because i am always afraid that the transfer is going to um, not to cover the colors of the paint that i'm going to use you can see is i'm not really using no ruler i'm just freehanding trying sort of connect my lines and keep similar distances remember it's a it's a handmade item so it does not have to have the perfect distances we are just going to have fun and we're going to practice our stripes and our designs and abilities of planning things but of course you don't need to do it and um you could you could do any different pattern or just leave it the way it is 
If you do not have a transfers, um, the Robon transfers, Rabon transfers, you can use the napkin. And of course, the process is the same um, as it is with that. But I really hope that you're going to like um, this whole project when it's done. As I always tell you, when you do the checks or any patterns, you do want to sort of follow a little bit the uh, the the um, the shape of the, the the item you are painting on. So it does look like the material is stretching together with the patterns you're creating. So that's my goal right there. And of course, now I need to make sure that I'm going to uh, check inside uh, the areas that I'm going to be painting. And as I'm looking at it, I actually do see some crackling happening on it. Oh, because I forgot to tell you that I've painted my top of my dome first with the Mod Podge because um, it does help to uh, for the chalk paint to stay um, and you know distribute itself nicely so the checks uh, mark checks are done the <laughs> oh my goodness now it's time to paint so it's again it is the fun it's not i rush quickly sort of a thing and it's again my lines are still wonky here and there but it really doesn't matter you just practice every single um a piece you're going to paint it is a, a new practice so i use the uh, um you know very short bristle brushes to makes the lines you know go a little bit better but it's again um um you know you just gotta keep on practicing I promise it gets better and better and of course the the lines are going to be crooked here and there but you know what it's still okay obviously my choice for this one was black and white but you can do any colors depending on you know what your decor is or what your preferences are you can completely do them in the pastel version you can make the lines you can make the uh um, uh, different patterns okay so now as you can see is my lines are coming along and I'm trying to hold on to to the shape of my container but I am positive some of you may think oh my goodness that dish was much better and uh, before and now it just look too um, sort of not attractive but you know what I'm not done after I finish painting with my uh, black um, and white pattern i am going to highlight it and of course i am going to hide some imperfections that i've done in this process uh, painting process the worst part for me in this whole thing was to paint in between the uh, uh the transfers but you know what i've done it i took a little brush and it's just happening I'm going to hold you through the entire process. I'm just going to finish that little one dot right there, trying to round it off, connect them. And now it's time to sort of, you know, bring additional juice to it by, of course, bringing a little bit of the gold. So I'm just going to highlight some areas, especially the ones where my lines were too wonky um, with a little bit of the gold. I personally do not do it everywhere and I do not create the long lines. I just try to go a little bit on the white, a little bit on the on the black and just, you know, have fun and see how I like it. Every single time I do those, they always look differently. So now after that is done, I do want it to bring now the white. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to be painting on a black just so I can add a little bit more of a depth to it. And so look, a little strip of uh, dry brushed white right on it all of a sudden makes all those pieces alive. And of course, you are doing it on every single one of them or you're doing on some. So now it's time to bring the Duraclear and bring the Mackenzie Child uh, sort of a sheen to it. So I'm just going to spill a little bit right over it and, you know, smooth all of it nicely to make sure that I do not leave any big puddles of that product on it because when it dries, it dries yellow. I want to really touch it right now. I was trying to close it to show it to you, but I'm going to wait. And now here are the pictures. Here is the butter dish from the Dollar Tree that got a high-end makeover. I so wanted to hear what you think about it and I so want to find out if you are going to run to Dollar Tree or maybe you already own some kind of uh, um, a, a butter dish. I mean, this one from Dollar Tree is obviously made out of plastic, but I absolutely love it. And after everything dries out and cure itself out, it is safe to wash. It is not the dishwasher uh, proof, uh, uh, but um, it is safe to wash with the water. 
Um, it's again, that was the project that I really enjoyed and I cannot wait to paint my other pieces here. So it's again, if you did enjoy, uh, please don't forget to sprinkle it for me. I cannot wait to talk to you later. Bye.